Hey everyone, this is Dr. Ezra again with Integrative Kidney Institute and today I'm going to be talking to you about genetic testing for chronic kidney disease. This is uh, part of the series that we talked about in the previous video about genetics and kidney uh, disease and sponsored by Natera. So let's do this. So we talked about uh, this in the previous video and I'll put a link here for you guys um, about the uh, genetics of kidney disease and um, you know we know that there are genetic kidney diseases that are full-blown like polycystic kidney disease that has molecular um, abnormalities that is associated with kidney disease, Alport syndrome, Fabry's disease, hyperoxaluria, stuff like that and there's also the less known um, genetic issues where like you have increased susceptibility to systemic diseases such as diabetic uh, kidney disease or lupus nephropathy or uh, lupus nephritis and also there are some genes that are associated with increased risk for chronic kidney disease such as the uromodulin gene umod or shrm 3 gene and um, of course we talked about the genes that are associated with uh, changes in metabolism and elimination of toxins and heavy metals that can also be associated with increased risk for kidney disease. And um, the what happened in the recent few years is this a new testing for genetic disorders, which is called next generation uh, sequencing, basically looking at the exome, which is a uh, the part of the genome that is responsible for coding uh, for several for, for different proteins that are associated with biological um, values and biological functions and these exomes just actually um, two percent of our whole genome and when um, they do next generation sequencing they're able to do uh, massively parallel sequencing of million segments of DNA simultaneously. So that will um, allow to have the test to be done in less time with reduced sample size and with low cost. And that is a major development that happened in the last few years in, in medicine in general and kidney health too. So what are the benefits of testing for chronic kidney disease in, uh, in general? So it, it certainly, uh, the genetic testing uh, is helpful for identifying diagnosis of uncertain uh, causes of kidney disease. They're helpful to reclassify a clinical diagnosis. They're also helpful to uh, uh, target therapy and workup and uh, helpful in the role, um, and they have a good role in kidney transplant. And also they help in overall management of kidney patients. So let's talk in details about all of these issues. So the genetic testing is, is definitely helpful in identifying um, the cause of an unknown kidney disease. We know that diabetic kidney disease and hypertensive kidney disease are the most common causes, but oftentimes, Kidney doctors and, and general doctors, they are they they see patients and they don't know what is the cause of their kidney disease. Their, the urine is usually what we call bland uh, sediment. It has no protein and no blood in it, and um, the workup is negative. And and oftentimes kidney disease is associated with high blood pressure, as we're going to see in the next slide, and they end up labeling these patients as hypertensive kidney disease. And sometimes even in advanced cases, kidney biopsy can be unhelpful because it only shows scarring, glomerular sclerosis, or uh, interstitial fibrosis, and you don't get any specific diagnosis from that. So um, genetic testing has been looked at in um, kidney disease, and they found that up to one-third of the patient can be diagnosed with the whole genome sequencing. And this is a, an, an article that uh, I'm putting here for you for, in reference, and I'll put those references in the description of the video when it comes out so, for you guys. 
Um, and this thing, here's an example where we have uh, a study where they looked at uh, this gene that is associated with a uh, genetic kidney disease. It's called nephronophthesis, which we always think of it as a disease of childhood. But in this case, they looked at um, patients who are on dialysis, and they found that 88% of patients who uh, had that mutation and had that disease were not diagnosed with that disease. And that, just about 1% of the dialysis patient, but you're talking about if you add up all these other genetic etiologies and other gen genetic causes, that can add up, add up pretty quickly. So genetic testing is really helpful in these situations. Now, the second way genetic testing can help you with a diagnosis is actually to reclassify clinical diagnosis. We talked about high blood pressure, and high blood pressure is very, very common in kidney uh, disease patients. So you can always label a patient with hypertensive kidney disease when you don't know because chances are they are going to be hypertensive. These studies show that hypertension is... is um, prevalent and it's 60 to 90 percent of the patient have it. So a lot of patients end up in this what I call the hypertensive basket and is that the true diagnosis? Who knows? So genetic testing can help you reclassify the clinical diagnosis you have, the phenotype, with the correct genotype. And the study showed that up to a quarter of the cases can be reclassified with genetic testing. Actually, there are several studies that are consistent about that. Now, um, definitely genetic testing can help you target the therapy uh, and the workup. And this is when, when they're talking about precision medicine nowadays, this is what we're talking about. You know the, the exact uh, molecular diagnosis. You can avoid unnecessary procedures and tests. And you can avoid... Um, wrong therapies. You avoid using immunosuppressive medications for genetic case, for example. Uh, and this is actually, I've seen it happening in in few cases where someone had Alport syndrome and was treated with steroids erroneously. So again, we're, we're having an accurate molecular level diagnosis, and that can be helpful to guide you in the treatment for the patients. And certainly now we have diseases that have gene therapy for uh, there's Fabry's disease have have uh, treatment, for example, hyperoxaluria and and uh, Alport syndrome and so on. So all of these things have treatment for that we can identify by doing genetic testing and then guide the therapy. And and finally, I want to mention that genetic testing. Well, actually, this is not finally. So there's one more po bullet point, but. Uh, genetic testing has a significant role in kidney transplant and we'll have a video specifically about that so I'm not going to dwell on this here today but donor workup um, has can be guided with, with genetic testing, recipient evaluation also and there's a, a whole new field called pharmacogenomics where you can know by doing the, the genetics uh, of the metabolism of certain medications how much is the dose that should be given to the patient. And there are several um, transplant medications that have um, genomic data on, especially Prograf or Tacrolimus and uh, Imuran also. And there are some other that are uh, not specifically immunosuppressive medications. So again, we'll talk about that in a future video and I'll link that to uh, when it comes out. Now, finally, Genetic testing does help with the overall management of kidney patients. So certainly, if you have a genetic disorder that has an extra renal manifestation that, you know, the other, like polycystic kidneys, they can have cyst in the liver, aneurysm in the brain, um, Alport syndrome, you have um, hearing disorder uh, and, and eye manifestation, ocular manifestation. So you can refer the patient early on to help them out and have better life. And some of the diseases are associated with early onset diabetes, so lifestyle modification can be initiated early to guide the patient. 
and and also all of that the genetic testing as we mentioned can guide the treatment and certainly one of the great advances is that we are able to by knowing the molecular diagnosis this can help us develop future medications lifestyle intervention epigenetic intervention and gene therapy in the future so really this is like I always say, this is the dawn of a new era in nephrology, and we're going to see in a few years that a lot of management is going to change with time. Now, there are a lot of genetic uh, testing available. I'm sharing here and you know, for um, so we don't be biased. This is a, a genetic test that is free, free of charge. Uh, it has 18 panel um, gene tests. They, they use it to identify patients for specific treatment for pharmaceuticals, so that, that's available. And this is the website. You can um, get it, and I'll share it also again so that we won't be biased. But again, we're sponsored by Natera, and this is what we use. And they have a, a panel of 382 genes, and it's covered by many insurers. Um, and, and it's great. Um, you get uh, also... Um, counselors that help you and help you know before the testing and after the testing help your patient so it's, it's a great thing to have um, so I you know in my opinion broad panel genetic testing has great role in the care of kidney patients it is here to stay I always say that or this is not my saying that our gene are not our destiny but we cannot know our, we cannot change our destiny without knowing our genes. So I hope you like this video. If you like it, please follow us on Instagram at Integrative Kidney. Uh, we're also on Facebook uh, at InKidney and on Twitter at InKidney and at Integrative Kidney Solution on YouTube and at www.inkidney.com. Have a great day.